Thank you, Zulaika, for the lovely introduction. So today we're going to go through the webinar for twist and bend with back submission using NCSFHSS. So before we proceed to the webinar, I want to uh, say something about uh, some of the NCS product that we have. So we have so many uh, NCS product here. We have material embedded software, safety analysis structure, fluid, electronics, semiconductor, and so on. So for today, we'll be focusing on uh, NCS electronic, uh, mainly for high frequency, which is the NCS FHSS. So uh, these are all the NCS electronics product that, uh, uh, that we have. Uh, so if you want to know more about uh, the NCS product, you can go through the ncs.com slash product slash electronics. Uh, we even go to this website for more details. And now I'll, uh, uh, what is a NCS FHSS uh, that we are going to use today for the simulation? Uh, so NCS FHSS is NCS High Frequency Structure Simulator which is a general purpose full wave 2D and 3D electromagnetic design and simulation tool for high frequency application. And some of the high frequency application is uh, antenna, microchips, filters, integrated circuits, printed circuit board, PCB, and radio frequency components and microwave components. So uh, these are all the uh, application uh, for high frequency. And uh, uh, before we go to the waveguide simulation, we might want to know uh, what are the application of waveguide? What is a waveguide? So uh, I provide uh, you a short video uh, explaining what is a waveguide and what are the application of waveguide. So enjoy the video. Waveguides have been around for almost a century and they come in many different shapes and sizes and construction, functionally, they're all in line to its fundamental use, which is a means to transport or guide energy from one point to another point efficiently. It's a transmission line. And the transmission line, that cross section can be rectangular or circular, or any shape for that matter. And that's why we need an electromagnetic simulation tool. And today, wave guides and its components are an integral part of any application. Communications, millimeter, 5G applications, power, medical, any industry, commercial, military, waveguides are used everywhere. And waveguides have suggested frequency range of operation based on their physical dimensions. And the relationship between the waveguide dimensions and the lowest frequency is simple. If W is the larger of the rectangular cross-sectional area, then the longest wavelength that can propagate is lambda equals to W. And the lowest frequency is the frequency over C over lambda or 2W. So let's design a rectangular waveguide using HFSS in the ANSYS Electronics Desktop Student version for a 5G millimeter wave band, the WR15. It's in the V band, and we look at some of its characteristics. And W is used in the naming convention, rectangular waveguide, WR, rectangular waveguide, followed by W in mils, divided by 10. That's the standard naming dimension. So now we already know why it's a waveguide and what are the application of waveguide? Waveguides have been around. So we are going to go for this simulation. So for the waveguide design that we are going to use is uh, WR15 waveguide. And the specification for the dimension of the waveguide is, uh, this is, you can Google it. Uh, it is a 0 0.148 uh, for the width and 0 0.074 for the height of the, wave, of the waveguide cavity. So for, uh, the demonstration, we are going to simulate uh, two waveguide. Uh, first is the twist waveguide. The twist waveguide is used to change the polarity of the fields. 
And next, we are going to do the simulation for the band wave guide. Uh, the band wave guide uh, used to change the direction of the field. So uh, after the simulation, uh, we can we are going to see the result for the propag uh, propagation uh, constant, which is the gamma plot. So uh, the, prog the propagation constant can be uh, in mathematically you can uh, put it in y equal, uh, gamma equals to alpha plus uh, beta in imaginary. So alpha is the real part of the propagation constant. Uh, it is called the attenuation constant. And uh, beta is the imaginary part. Uh, and it is called as the phase constant. So these are the results that we can get after this mission. We can plot it uh, inside in CSFSSS. So you can see uh, all the real part and the imaginary part here. So this is the, uh, the green one is the, the green and uh, brown one is the imaginary part and these are uh, the uh, real part. So for the demo, uh, we have to demo. So for the first demo is the twist waveguide. So uh, first we're going to design the twist waveguide using the ANSYS modeling tools. And then we assign the input and output with ports and add the solution setup. And then we're going to plot the output propagation constant, which is the gamma plot. And we're going to animate uh, the electric field on this waveguide. You can see uh, this are uh, one of the example of the uh, animation of the electric field. Next, uh, for the second demo, we are going to design uh, the hash band with that. So, firstly, we, uh, the same, we're going to design the hash band with that using the modeling tools. We assign the input and output with port and add the solution setup. And we, for the result, we're going to plot the output propagation constraint and animate the electric field of the with that. So, uh, this is what the animation. And now we are going to go to uh, ANSYS AEDT, ANSYS Electronics Let's Desktop. Uh, for this webinar, we're going to using the version of 2023 R1. So firstly, what we're going to do is we uh, open the FHSS. And then uh, we are going to get this, uh, uh, the UI here. So first we're going to uh, set the solution setup. So for this uh, demonstration, we are going to use a FHSS uh, solution setup with a network analysis and model. And then we click OK. Just just the default. And then for the uh, units, so we're going to uh, modeler, click on units. So for this animation, we are going to use uh, inch. And then we click OK. So before, uh, uh, now, before the we uh, creating the waveguide, uh, we might want to set the uh, design uh, properties first so that it is easier for us to design. After this, so uh, first we uh, add the length. The length are going to be one inch. Then click OK. And then uh, we uh, add the width. The width is uh, 0 0.148 inch. And then we add the height. The height is 0 0.074. And click OK. And then we click the plot. Oh, I forgot to put the units here. So we just click inch here. And then yeah, see. And then we click apply. Click OK. So firstly, we are going to draw a box. Uh, uh, box here. 
And then uh, we click on this uh, create box uh, properties of the box. You can uh, change the X size, Y size, and Z size here. So for the X size, we go for length. And this one width. And for the Z size is uh, height. And then we apply. And then uh, we can see uh, the width guide, uh, the first part of the width guide. So for this uh, width guide cavity, uh, we might want to change it. Uh, we might want to change the material to, for this uh, example, we're going to use the Conic RF system TM here. And then we click OK. And then uh, we might want to change the transparency to 0 0.8 here. So that easier we can see the uh, the with uh, the fit inside the wicket. And then uh, what we what we're going to do is uh, we duplicate this one first because we have a two design right so. Uh, we duplicate this. So now we have uh, design one and design two. So for design one, we're going to uh, rename it uh, to, we just put it uh, twist with guys. This WG. Okay. So now, we're going to click on this face here. We right click it, edit, and we surface, create object from surface. And we click on this uh, line here to create a line at the middle here. And we might want to change this uh, line properties. So for this, uh, for the first point of the line, we're going to be at the center of the width uh, of the cavity. So we put the length uh, one, we put it length. Width over two. Height over two. And then we copy this, we paste it here, and we then uh, double the length. So the line going to be a, a one length, one uh, inch. So we put star here. So you can see uh, the line here is the length of the one uh, one inch. So what we're going to do now is uh, we click on this uh, line and we uh, can zoom it. So we're clicking on the line and we uh, click on this shape. Uh, no, not this, uh, this box here. And uh, we right click it, we edit uh, surface, uh, uh, surface width. So along the, uh, we, we put it a uh, sweep along path here. So it, it will sweep along the line. So we change this to minus 90 degree. We click OK. So you can see the twist uh, of the wave back here. And then we extend this face uh, to a length. So we right click this, edit. Uh, Surface uh, sweep face along normal, and we the length is length. And then click OK. So now uh, we already have uh, the model ready. So uh, we click on the tree of this object, we unite it, so it become one uh, one box. And we can rename this box to uh, we've got cavity. 
So we click OK. So now for the first model, it's completed. And now what we're going to do, we uh, assign the uh, ports, the width ports. So we click on this face, uh, we right click, uh, and we assign excitation, port, and width port. And we change the name to input. So for the number of modes, we change to five. So it will, it will create a five propagation uh, propagation port uh, for five different propagation. And uh, we click on next, uh, we click finish. Now we go to the other face, the end face here. And then we edit, uh, we, uh, we, it's the same, we uh, assign the excitation, the port with port here. This one we name it output, and the number of uh, mode is five. So click next and finish. Okay. Now I think we are. Uh, uh, okay. This one supposed to be the twist. Okay. Wait. Uh, we just change this name to Ben. And we save this uh, desktop save. And we change this name to decrease with that. Okay. Now uh, we can see the excitation, the input, and you can see here the input and the output here. So now for the uh, analysis, uh, the solution setup, click on advanced. Uh, setup one, the frequency, we put uh, 30 gigahertz. We click OK. And for this week, uh, we just use interpolating 15 uh, gigahertz to 45 uh, with 101 points. And we just click uh, OK. Now uh, we're going to simulate it. So before we simulate, we validate it first. So everything is in green check mark. So now we analyze all. So we begin uh, simulating this model, this we've got. So before, uh, um, so while waiting this uh, simulation, we go to our uh, next model, which is the band wave gap. So while waiting uh, this to uh, finish simulating, uh, we, we design this second wave gap first. So for the band uh, wave gap, uh, what we're going to do is uh, first we click on this face, we right click, and uh, we edit uh, surface, create object from face. So here we have another uh, face. And then we click on uh, draw here. Uh, we click on this uh, offset. So we click uh, here. And you can, this is the new, uh, we create a new uh, coordinate here. So to see this coordinate system, you can see here, 1, 0, 0.75 and 0. So what we're going to do is, we want to make a curve uh, from, uh, this, uh, from this coordinate system. So what we're going to do is, uh, we click on this box, uh, on this box. Right click, we edit, uh, we click on sweep uh, around this axis on the Z coordinate. Uh, we want to sweep to a 90 degree angle. So we click OK. So now the face sweep uh, to a 90 degree. Now we, uh, we click on this uh, face. Uh, and we shift it to normal. 
So to do that, we click on edit, uh, surface. Uh, we sweep face along normal and uh, length of sweep is the length. And then we click OK. So now we have uh, the, the band model here. So what we're going to do is split all these three uh, uh, cavity here. We unite it to make uh, one uh, single box here and we can rename it to uh, the cavity. Here uh, uh, the material is the same as before and transparency is open here. So we click OK. So then uh, we can, we're not going to click the continuous system to global that. Now what we're going to do is uh, we uh, set, set the, the report and we click on this face first, right click, uh, assign a citation, port, and waveport. Same, we put it as input and change the number of words to five. And uh, we click uh, on, the, on this, this face, citation, port, uh, waveport. We put it as output. The number of uh, modes is five. We finish. Now we going to add the NAC setup. Same like before, we change the frequency to 30. And uh, the same, uh, start 15 gigahertz to 45, 100, 401 points. And we save this. Here, click OK. Now uh, we already finished the setting setting up the uh, band with that. So we might want to uh, wait for the for the twist we've got to finish meeting. Then we're going to simulate this. Uh, this band with that. So for your one uh, simulation, last time I test, it's only take uh, around eight to seven minutes uh, for it to finish simulating. So I think like another one or two minutes uh, until it uh, finish uh, simulating for this. So. Uh, now we just uh, wait for it. Okay, I want to check for the analysis. Uh, yeah, it's good. Okay, I think I forgot to. Okay. So I think. Uh, Maybe I just uh, open the uh, simulated uh, simulated result, uh, which I have already tested before, so that we don't waste our time uh, in this uh, simulation. So maybe I just open my previous simulation to show you the result. Okay, let me open it. So, okay. Here are the two. Uh, maybe I just uh, can stop this. Okay. So this is my uh, testing, uh, my first test for this uh, demonstration. 
So this is the twist uh, F guide. So we let, uh, let's see the, okay, I need to uh, analyze it. So it just take uh, five seconds to uh, see the result. Okay. So okay, let us uh, simulate both. Simulate both. Uh, wait, wait for a second. Okay, it's applying the previous uh, soft data. Uh, wait for it to uh, uh, applying the previous soft data. And same goes to the okay, band to synchronize it. Okay, so the uh, normal completion, and then we do the same for the band. Same, it will uh, applying the uh, previous soft data. So uh, now we can see uh, the result. So for the first result is the uh gamma plot for the imaginary uh imaginary part so here uh, all the color frequency and we can see also the real part of the propagation here and then uh we can uh, see the field for the uh for the wave cut you can see this one is the let electric field uh for the uh for this simulation so how to animate it you just right click this and click on animate and then you can see the movement of the electric field. So uh, previously, if you remember that we put five uh, different uh, modes, propagation modes. So to see all the propagation modes, uh, you can see this uh, inside port field input. You can see here, zoom to region. You can see uh, this, this one is down. We can see the propagation down downwards. We can also uh, the second mode is upwards. Uh, here is up and at the left is down. You can see here. And for the mode three, everything to the left. And mode four, uh, some a bit to the right, some to the left, and mode five. And we can see all the uh, five different modes. Uh, we can see from this electric the electric field of these five different modes. So to see uh, the second uh, mode, we just go to the excitation, right click. Uh, let, let's put this uh, on the show. So uh, we click on this excitation, we right click. Uh, we edit source. So you can see here we are using the first uh, input. Now let's see the second mode. Which, uh, no, this is the, this is what, uh, when we put the uh, what, the what into the first part. So now we put it on the second, which is the second mode. So we put it 
uh, click one here, and then we click on apply. So you can see uh, the electric field changes. So we can also animate this. This is for the second mode. How well, it changed the polarity from here to here. Okay. Now uh, we can also see the third mode. So before we edit the sources, we change the input uh, one here. This one zero. So you can see uh, different electric field for different modes. And we also can uh, animate this. You can see it's uh, you can change the speed here. And yeah, next, uh, the third. Um, the third mode, which is the third input, uh, edit source. Now with the uh, the fourth one, click on apply. Okay, you can see, see, enemy. Yeah, you can observe how it changes the polarity. Okay, and finally, the for the fifth uh, mode, we edit source. Let me share. Change back to zero. Input one. Line. So here, uh, same we animate it. And I have the message so we can see it clearly. Now, same goes to the uh, band waveguide. So, this uh, you can see the result the gamma plot for the imaginary part and the uh, real part here. RE is the real, and the IM is the imaginary part. So now we see the field. Click on this. Now we see the uh, electric field for this band we've got. And then, like before, we can change the uh, different modes. So we uh, edit source. So we have five inputs, right? So we can change if you want to observe uh, the second uh, mode. We just put it uh, one what at uh, the second input. So we apply. Here we are. It's not. Let me analyze it back. So yeah, uh, it's the same if you want to change uh, the mode. So let me show. Uh, it's the same if you want to change. If you want to change the source, you just edit the source here, and uh, good to go. So you can see uh, the part here. Uh, and you just change uh, the magnitude of the part. So uh, that will. So if you want it, uh, if you want the waveguide to be backwards, like from the output to the input, so you just put the. Uh, just change the magnitude of the output to one. Same goes to all the five points. So yeah, that is. Uh, that is it for the demo to demonstration for the twist waveguide and uh, band waveguide. Uh, so that's it. That's it for today. 
So now I will like to pass the screen to Zuleika for our next uh, session, which is the Q&A session. Uh, okay, Zuleika, you can take the screen. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Farhan. Now uh, I will launch a poll. Please select the appropriate response and click submit. Now, uh, Mr. Farhan will answer the question. If you have question for the speaker, you may turn on your mic. You also can submit a question via the chat features and I will read your question. Does anyone have question regarding this topic? I guess uh, we have enough time to answer all the question. If you have the question, you can ask now. I guess a silence means no. So it looks like we do not have a question. Thank you again, uh, Mr. Farhan, for the great presentation. Um, is it uh, is there anything else you wanted to cover, Mr. Farhan? Uh, no, I think that's all. Yeah. Great. Thank you, everyone. We appreciate you being here. Uh, we also encourage you to connect with us on social media to get the latest information. If you have additional questions, you may contact us by email or telephone. We are happy to provide additional support. And that's all. Thank you all for attending. We hope you have learned and enjoyed this presentation. Have a nice day.